The internet is an amazing tool for information gathering and dissemination. Unfortunately, from its beginnings in the late 1980s, it's also been a hotbed for scams, con artists, and outright fraudsters too. No, internet-based fraud didn't begin with the recent stablecoin and altcoin frauds, NFTs, or Reddit board pump and dump stock schemes. It's been around for 35 years. Internet scams are continually evolving. The FBI documented a record three and a half billion in losses due to internet scams in 2019. Those numbers are before the 2020 COVID lockdowns that sent tens of millions of new, less technology savvy users flooding onto social networks looking for information and entertainment. The AARP even has a huge portion of its website and mountains of resources devoted to money scams and frauds for retirees in their community. The link to that site is in the description below. I'm Chris Parrish, Chief Investment Officer with Oak Harbors Financial Group in Houston, Texas, and this is our investment team's midweek release where we examine a news item, headline, or story making the rounds from publicly available sources and we ask, is it news or is it noise for your money? This week's topic is a myriad of internet scams and ploys that exist trying to separate retirees, widowers, and the unknowingly good-hearted elderly from their hard-earned savings. Over the last two years, scammers and fraudsters are taking advantage of the increase in COVID-19 communications by disguising their scams as legitimate messaging about the virus. Common types of COVID scams include fake health organization posting for health or authorities like the WHO, World Health Organization, and CDC, Centers for Disease Control. Websites selling fake products or high demand products that never arrive. Fake government sources claiming to work on behalf of the IRS or local tax authorities. Fake nonprofit donation requests prying on your kindness or willingness to help others in times of crisis. And finally, fraudulent financial offers posting as banks, debt collectors, or investors with offers designed to steal your financial information. This is in addition to the longtime internet-based scams that include email phishing scams, fake shopping websites, fake tech support, and fake antivirus software scams. If this is not enough, there are still fraudsters using 20 and 30-year-old scams, such as grandparent emergency money scams, pre-approved loan and credit card notices, and fake money transfer and check bouncing schemes. Just this past week, we had a client that asked us to help them ferret out the legitimacy of an investment officer they'd received from an internet-based acquaintance. Our team did a little sleuthing on their behalf and advised them this looked remarkably like one of the oldest internet scams out there. This is something commonly referred to as a 419 fraud or an advanced fee scam that was one of the first to hit the internet 30 years ago. However, viewers, the FBI reported that almost 15,000 people still fell victim to this fraud to the tune of $100 million in 2019. These are the reported numbers. Who knows how many other cases and how much money was lost with it out being reported due to embarrassment. The bottom line is this. Assume that anyone on the internet who you don't already know intimately or have not met in person, assume that they're asking for your financial, bank, or personal information you're being scammed. You should never give out your personal information to anyone on the internet who contacts you directly. Make sure your financial transactions on the internet are on a secure server and a reputable site. If you believe you've been scammed or defrauded, immediately change your passwords and delete the software you might have downloaded. Call your credit card company and bank. If necessary, contact your local law enforcement agency to report the scam and get help with the next steps. You can also report this scam to the FBI, the Federal Trade Commission, or the U.S. Postal Service. We advise our Oak Harvest clients to give us a call if something isn't passing the sniff test or feels out of place before they proceed down an uncertain path, including the internet. Yes, viewers, we're here to help our clients in whatever way we can, including advising on issues like these. We care about our clients on a personal level. Are the reports of new internet frauds and scams news for your money? 100% they are. And the Oak Harvest team is here to help you navigate those treacherous waters as your advisor as well. At Oak Harvest, we think our clients are best served by us helping them plan for their future needs instead of focusing on the past. The future is always uncertain, and that's why our advisors and retirement planning teams plan for your retirement needs first and your greed second. 
Give us a call to speak to an advisor and let us help you craft a financial plan that helps you meet your retirement goals. Call us here in Houston at 877-896-0040 and schedule an advisor consultation. We're here to help you on your financial journey into and through your retirement years. I'm Chris Paris, and from everyone here at Oak Harvest, have a blessed week.